Hey there, this is your orchestration tutor, Thomas Goss, letting YouTube viewers know that my long-awaited orchestration course has finally been released. Everything seems to be moving incredibly fast right now. At the beginning of May, the Orchestration Online website was launched, which within a week topped 900 subscribers. At the same time, the first monthly orchestration challenge was announced, garnering over 50 entries in 20 days. 10 days later, I released the website's first ebook, a scoring guide to my harp concerto. Then, after another 10 days, my Mac Pro video course was finally released, Orchestration 101, the string section. It's up there on the site if you want to go take a look and see how I've blended live orchestral audio samples, solo performers, and graphic charts to teach the essentials of string orchestration. Or just have a look now. In our last video, we studied the basics of bowing. Now let's see how bowing works in an actual score. If a melody is written all as single notes without any slurs or long ties, then the player will play one bow stroke on each note in an up and down pattern. However, the beauty of bowing is that one bow stroke can cover several notes at once for a smooth, seamless legato that's one of the hallmarks of the string sound. This is indicated by a slur covering one or more notes. Bowing is also extremely flexible in varying the dynamics within a legato phrase. This is achieved by increasing and decreasing pressure on the strings, sometimes obviously, sometimes subtly. It's important to remember that there's a limited amount of notes that may be played with one bow stroke, dependent on volume, tempo, and range. A soft, fast passage can have quite a few notes per slur. By the same token, very loud notes use up a bow's distance very quickly, and frequent changes of direction are needed. And on top of that, I'm elbows deep orchestrating the score to a feature-length anime right now with the short-term deadline. And then more courses and projects are coming up as soon as that's done. But I don't want to miss the chance to celebrate this milestone with my viewers out there before it all gets buried by more work. So please be my guest at a live YouTube event this Sunday. It'll kick off at 12 noon San Francisco time, which is 3 p.m. in New York and 8 p.m. in London. I'll chat about my course, answer questions about orchestration from the live feed, and have a few good stories to tell. In other words, a party. But I'll keep things informative enough for the video to be a watchable resource on my channel once the party's over. If you're already in the Orchestration Online Facebook group, please RSVP, or send me a tweet, or just comment below to let me know that it's on your to-do list for the weekend. So that's all the news for today. I've seriously got to get back to work on this anime score, so go have a look at the course and save the date of this upcoming Sunday on your calendar. Thanks very much for all your support during the past 14 months, and I hope to see you on Sunday.